Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Making a big haul right now, about 25 yards, driveway to driveway. Got a little something special today. We got kind of a yucky day, uh, but we're gonna build something. I've been in a very much build mood lately. We got some materials in the bed of this truck right now that we're going to use to build some fish houses. For some crappies, just go ahead and back this thing up to the old crispy collector. Get ready to build. It's a little yucky right now, but the weather was gonna be nice today, and I was going to take my truck and do a little trout fishing, go on a little trout venture. However, uh, my truck is in the shop right now. It is getting worked on. Now, if you've watched, if you watch the next video, you will see the day before, and we are still in that situation, uh, waiting on it. I'm probably gonna go get it this afternoon. Uh, and you guys can check out all the upgrades. So that is on the next video. But this is my interim vehicle, which is a silver Silverado. How about that? So I thought on this misty morning, why don't we build some structures that are gonna help us catch some fish in the very near future? And I went and collected some Christmas trees. After Christmas, everybody was throwing out their Christmas trees. So I got some of those. And I've also got a big brush pile in the backyard that Steph has been telling me to mulch up for many months now. I thought, why don't I take some of that brush, all these limbs that I've been limbing off of all these trees out here, and use some of that to make some cheap brush piles as well. So this is what we got. Went to the home to pot, and I got some concrete blocks here. These are like, you know, less than two bucks. They're like $1.50 a piece. I got some quick crete. I got another bag over there and I've got another bag in the garage from leftover projects and I'm just gonna take these arrange some sticks in there and then pour the quick read in there uh, mix it up and then that's gonna be our thing you know we can put our Christmas tree stalks in here uh, and it's pretty simple mostly where we're gonna be planting these is in a shallow water lake and I've told you guys uh, the ranch that I've hunted and fished a few times uh, it has a dedicated crappie lake with no structure in it. It just has reeds around the edge. So that's great during the spring, during the spawn. You can probably crush them out there. But during the rest of the times of year, I've, I've idled around out there on my, on my side imaging. I've looked at, I mean, it's just sand. There's bait around in the middle. Uh, there's one dock uh, with like one little tree down there. So it desperately needs some good piles uh, for fish to go into and it's only like five or six feet of water so that is what we we're going to be targeting when we're building these brush piles you can really go buck wild with brush piles you can make them gigantic in fact a lot of people do put them out in 20 30 feet of water uh, i've attempted it before but really we're going to design these to be pretty spindly basically making a short squatty porcupine looking area that's safe for bait fish to get in and then just giving the crappie a smorgasbord buffet house that's what we're doing so step one of this deal i'm going to take this big box right here i'm going to cut a side off of it and just lay it down and that way i can lay my uh, concrete blocks right there and when i put the cement in it's not going to get everywhere uh, i mean i could probably do it on the leaves or something like that but this is just going to assure that um the wife doesn't kill us our house and yard is kind of a mess honestly y'all it's it's just a hodge podge normally she wouldn't care but today we have a crew like a team coming in and they're redesigning the they're re-leveling the yard they're putting in stones and rocks and grass and all this stuff and making it pretty and uh i don't want to rain on that parade so i'm going to keep everything nice and clean uh I'm gonna clean up my work area A little bit bigger knife ought to work a little better. One of y'all actually gave me this knife at a meetup or a you know parang or whatever you want to call it, but it's actually very useful. I've used it used it in the yard limbing many many times. Um, I might even use it today, either that or a hatchet to to limb. But uh, thank you. That's just a really nice piece right there, and you never know when you're going to have to chop down an oversized box. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a lot of brush. This actually itself, on the, imagine it on the bottom of the lake, what that would look like, all the, all the crappies just in the midst of it. Big bass eating the crappies. That actually happens, you know. I guess step two now is going to be finding the right um, 
limbs, doing some limbing. What we want to find is the spindly ones. These are already ones that I've sawed off of, of trees. Some of these would actually make pretty good uh, piles, uh, like large piles in deep water. But what I'm going to do is try to find the ones that are real spindly that I'm going to put in like five to seven feet of water so I don't want them sticking out. Uh, maybe just at the surface. The way they're gonna go down in the water is they're gonna, you know, be like a Christmas tree on the living room floor. And all the presents below the Christmas tree are going to be fish. Just imagine that golden crispiness to happen there. It's also a good idea to do this on a cold day when the snakes are taking naps. Just throwing that out there. Take some of these limbs off. We can use those as extras. Take this whole end right here. That's gonna be about five, six feet. Chop it off right there. Area. By the way, I am using a Grunz, Grunzfors and Brook. Uh, these axes are made in Sweden. I got my first one about six months ago. They are awesome. They are really awesome. This one used to be shaving sharp it came shaving sharp and then i stropped it and it was incredible and i actually planned on doing a video where i broke down a deer with one of these like skinning and everything it's that sharp not kidding but um i made a little a couple of boo-boos and uh you don't want to chop directly on the bone with this guy uh, th this blade is ex extremely sharp um, but it's really not meant for chopping through bone i, I damaged it I've since sharpened it, it's still very sharp. It'll shave a little bit, but it's not, not as crisp. But anyway, so this is my, my woodsman's hammer. Just working on the old bushcraft skills in case I have to use them in a very bad situation. So let's go ahead and get up in here. So we can take this end, stick that in our cinder block, and we're going to have lots of spindles, and then we can add on to it. Look at that one right there. Just a wiry dude. Perfect. There's another good one right there, real wiry. This is kind of like a building a, what do you call that? Uh, a bouquet. So this is like redneck bouquets right here. Instead of the florist, I am the fisher. So just doing that right there, I think y'all kind of get the idea of what's going on here. But we'll start out with that, that base, then add just you know a few more things. Come in here with even small ones. Take these little, little small ones, chop them in half. The idea is you just get those spindly ones for a good base and then you can fill in. I mean, it literally is like <laughs> bouquets. So now what we'll do is put the dry quick crete in and get everything in place how we want it. Uh, and then when it looks good, we'll just pour the water in, give it a little mix up, and then you know what happens. It becomes very hard. Probably could have gone with a bigger surface to work with. It's too messy. Filled in a little bit more, a couple of different tree species, and look at that. It's got cover from top to bottom. Who wouldn't want to live up in there? I mean, you can't even tell. It's like continuous trees out here. It's a beautiful arrangement of oak and ash and something else, I don't really know. But I would love to have this in my office. It's a nice little piece. Put some crappie in it, you know, as like a mount. Cinder block's kind of ugly, but anyway, you guys get the idea. This is going to be nice. It's got uh, a variety of different cover. It's got really spindly stuff, tall. Um, this is going to hold up really good. This is some like oak, um, oak sprouts right here. Some really small trees and branches that I 
I trimmed off and uh, I really like that stuff. So I'm probably going to use that as the base on a couple of these. Uh, and then obviously the Christmas trees, they're really easy. Uh, those would honestly be good just laying over in the water. Bass love those too around docks. So I filled up concrete about three quarters of the way. Now I'm going to fill it up to the top uh, and wiggle those trees in there. They're really not moving at all. But uh, then add the water and this one is going to be done. Messy sun gun right here. I'm probably going to end up moving this to the yard because I don't see a clean way out of this situation. Oh yeah, juices are flowing, this is going to be messy. Sorry babe. poke around on that one with a stick for a little bit let it do its thing and that's pretty much the uh, the extent of making this style of brush pile with those uh, different kinds of trees uh, I've also got a bunch of cedar limbs out here that I haven't used in this yet uh, there's a ton of them in the pile I've also got some fresh ones that are just laying on the ground so I also want to try those I'm really not sure how um, the cedars, like the, the greenery on the cedars, will be with fish in the water. I know it detracts bugs, so I don't know if it'll detract bait fish. But typically with brush piles, if you put it like fresh green trees out, there will be crappie and fish on it within like a day or two. I mean, it's pretty quick. Um, these don't have any green, greenery on it, so I don't know how long that will take. It's not going to last quite as long as like PVC or something like that. Um, but PVC is really expensive uh, to do. The one thing that people really like about PVC, if you're doing it in public lakes, it can be hard to see on your electronics, so you can hide the piles easier. You're going to see this very, very easily. But uh, in the lake we're going to, you know, it's a private lake essentially, so there's really nobody out there. Don't really care. We just want to get the, the most bang for our buck. And right now we're looking at $2 for a, a $2 maximum, like with tax, on the center block, and then the trees. They are free. Uh, I've got a bunch of them around here, y'all, and I'm constantly having to deal with them. But uh, if you wanted to do this on the cheap, you could probably just find some people around the lake or the uh, whatever. Don't want to be cutting people's like yard trees down, but uh, people around the lake that have to trim up their trees. So if you just want to do some riding around and look for pre-cut limbs like this, now's the time to do it. Fall, winter, when people are, are out and doing that stuff. Uh, ask your friends, ask your neighbors, whatever. But in the spring, uh, if the lake allows it, you can go, just, just go cut them down around the sides. But definitely check your local listings on that. You don't want to be just cutting down, you know, Corps of Engineers trees or something. You might get a big ticket. As you can tell by the background noise, I have an entire construction crew here today. Oh yeah, y'all, it is getting absolutely bonkers in here. That man right there is an expert on that bobcat. I, I, one day, Rob Turkla. I need you to get to that level, sir. He is doing what would take me a year in hours. In the process, we've had some uprooting. I've gotten out the chainsaw. We're making more brush piles. Things are happening here. So I've got a super limmy one there. Look at all the limbs. More piles, more piles. And let me show you what's happening over here. So for all y'all that have followed the Lake Life Family Channel, it's been a long time coming for, for this situation just with our, our house shifts a lot because of the water. We don't have any sprinklers, so it is high time. We're getting water sprinklers put in. We're regrading the yard so the water moves away from our house rather than under the house, uh, so there's not as much shifting. And uh, I think while in the process, we're just gonna go ahead and get a little bonus move right here. He's got so much dirt, he's gotta move it somewhere, so he's regrading the side yard. I'm gonna have him push it in here. I've been meaning to redo this driveway anyways. This is going to be like extra trailer parking. Maybe put the crispy collector over here and I'm even thinking about putting like a uh, like a like a little shed, like a little lean-to barn. Uh, and I'm going to have him push some dirt right here, make it level. That way we can back stuff up in here. Extra trailers, boats, you know, all the stuff for the chickens uh, and everything else around here. Wood, all that fun stuff. So here's another pile that I have constructed. So this one has got a mix of cedar in it as well. I put cedar limbs, it's got oak limbs, it's got the white ash, it's got it all. And now I'm gonna move on to the Christmas trees that are right here. So I've got three Christmas trees. I'm gonna make it super simple. I'm just gonna take these little singular blocks 
Uh, I'm going to put the, the stems, if that's what you want to call it, the base, the trunk, in there. Uh, fill it with quick creep. Call it a day. Extra wood flying everywhere. I don't think there's any rewards being given out on looks here today, but uh, you get the idea. These are going to get it done. I just love what's going on here, you know. There is a lot of change happening in the yard. Uh, I am building things. I'm having ideas pop out, like just having these guys here and moving things around. I'm like envisioning. I'm thinking about, you know, more boats I can put in the yard. Sir Stephanie loves that. Okie dokie all, we have got our two styles of uh, crappie brush piles right here. One with the natural trees, the other one with the Christmas trees that we collected. First of all, we're gonna let these dry, so that's gonna take entirely too long, so I'm gonna shut it down right here. But on the next video, we're gonna take these out to the lake itself, it's a 100 acre lake, and we're gonna place these around. Then go and fish them pretty pretty quick after we, we put them there, and we'll continually check them. And I wanna try doing some PVCs as well, just to like see uh, how much the fish come to them, but I'm pretty sure fish go to more of the natural piles versus the PVC. And it is absolutely chaos here at the treehouse right now. There's a daggum tractor moving around. You would not even believe how much dirt they're taking out of the yard. They are redoing the other driveway right now as we speak. I mean, things are changing around here, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. I'll tell you right now, I haven't done brush piles in a long time. Normally what I like to do, <laughs> since electronics are insane these days, is just go find brush piles that people have already put out and I don't have to do any of the work. But since, uh, since I'm gonna be, pu be putting these in a lake that uh, hardly anyone ever fishes and I'm trying to enhance the lake, I'm making them myself. So I figured we would learn a little bit along the way and I'd share it with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. We'll see you on the next day.